Glory to God. Amen. Hosanna in the highest. Glory to Shade Amen. Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters. As we sit here, we come with privilege by the Lord of hosts to be able to see the ending of another unpromised day. Amen. As we sit here, we gather together in the name above all names to praise and glorify the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen. The Lord of hosts is his name, the great I am. Amen. Abba, Father, Jehovah. Amen. Adonai, El Shaddai. He who lives and reigns up in the heavens, amen, is watching us. But brothers and sisters, we sit here, we, we get on the way to sit here, praise the Lord. You know, I mean, when you truly get born again of the Spirit, you're going to want to do nothing but speak about the goodness of God and, you know, and praise Him and thank Him and glorify Him with every breath that we take because that's what it was given to us for. His borrowed breath so we could praise Him. And we can worship him and we can honor him and we can we can talk about the goodness of him. Amen. You know, as we sit here, we're going through through these times, and a lot of people are without understanding even uh how people can be really standing on the faith and believing that the Lord of hosts has done all things for us and accomplished all things, so that way we can just walk in it. Amen. And he knows as we know. Especially people that, that know scripture and and know uh, what it's saying to us, that the enemy was going to sit here and, and be browsing around like a, like a roaring lion to sit here and see who he can deceive and he who he can just devour, amen? But it's up to us to be able to withstand that and um, to be ready and understand the things that... Um, he brings and ways that he brings, amen. But once you God opens your eyes and you're filled with the Holy Spirit, beloved brothers and sisters, and all you saints that have an ear to hear, amen, praise God. For that as well is a blessing from God for us to be able to see and hear, amen. Because a lot of people, like my master said to the disciples, you're seeing and hearing things that people were, were, were be wanting to hear, amen. But it's just that we don't, it's not that you don't hear him, it's just that we miss it, amen, praise God, because we get so uh, busy bodies in the ways of this world, amen, praise God, and we sit here and um, pay attention to the things that the enemy wants us to uh, pay attention to, um, the materialistic things of this world, worldly statue, self-glorification, self-worship, um, to uh, please people instead of please God, and we're losing, uh, many people are losing their way, amen. And they're unable to sit here and overcome and stand in, true, in the true faith and, and the strength of the Lord, amen. Not because it's not given it to you, but our faith sometimes wavers. The word of truth tells us to do and stand in the faith without wavering, amen, praise God. And we can overcome all things because by faith, as the word of truth tells us, Faith comes through hearing, as Romans 10, 16 to 18 tells us, saints. How strong is our faith and belief in the Lord, spirits? How long, how, how strong is your faith and your belief in the Lord? Amen. Praise God. Do you honestly believe honestly? Putting off all falsehood, as the scriptures tells us. Put off all falsehood and speak truth one to another. Amen. Praise God. Um, how strong is your faith in the Lord and believe in the Lord? Are you getting healed? As we're going to read, that even with the centurion soldier, amen, and uh, the woman with the infirmity in, in Matthew 9, 22, the, take courage, daughter, he said, your faith has healed you. And the woman was cured from that very hour. Amen. Praise God. So can we when we're standing in the truth and the faith of the Lord. And by faith, you know, a lot of things happen. And we're going to be reading it in Hebrews 11. You know, reassurance of your faith, spirit. Amen. Praise God. Truly stand in the presence of the Almighty. And if, and if you don't feel it, ask, to ask the Lord God. Because you don't, you don't receive because you don't ask. You ask for the wrong things or with the wrong motives for the wrong 
intent or with the wrong intentions, amen, or for the wrong intentions, spirits. And a lot of people are without understanding that when, when it don't come, because the enemy does things to it, amen. But we know when, when it's coming from God, the Father of all creation, saying that um, it's, it's, it's awesome. Amen. Let us pray. We're going to praise and worship a few songs this day. And thank God for the day that he has given us. Amen. Even more for the liberty and the faith that he's given us to us. For as the scripture tells us in Romans 12, 3, Spirit, that he gives us all a measure of faith according to his will, according to our purpose. Amen. Praise God. And some of us, because he knows he's going to waver. He knows God. God's an all-knowing and all-powerful God. Amen. Praise God. He knows our tomorrows before we even dare. Uh, he knows our next year if we're even going to be here. Amen. Praise God. So let us pray and thank the Lord of hosts. And this evening we're going to pray for Israel as well. And all our brothers and sisters that are over there. And we're going to be praying for praying for Ukraine. Amen. That God protects those that, that are here and brings um, something, some kind of peace. Amen. So some kind of, but you know, uh, at the end, it's going to be up to whatever God's will is. It will be done. Amen. Praise God. But we know it when we are looking at scriptures um, and truth, beloved brothers and sisters, that there's a lot of things that are happening and that are going to happen and come to pass. Amen. Nowhere in the Bible does it say this too shall pass. That's, that's man-made. It says this will come to pass. Amen. Praise God. Don't, don't stop twisting these gospels. Amen. Praise God. Because when it doesn't come to pass, but everything that God has written does um will pass amen we know that that things do happen and we're in seasons and sometimes when our when, when our winters are as there are seasons the full seasons there are seasons in our lives amen that's why he says be ready in and out of season amen praise god and um so we ourselves have to sit here and be ready always he says stay ready so we're going to be reading some, some scripture about faith because, you know, I, I've been, and, and you're going to be in that too. People are without understanding the, the faith that God that has given unto us because he's given unto everybody, but we choose to not sit here and walk fully and believing in that faith or we will not be bound, we will not be chained, and the flesh will be crucified, saints. Amen. Praise God and all of you spirits that have an ear to hear. We know that true faith and devotion and dedication unto the Lord, as we know the word of truth tells us, and we're going to be reading that faith comes through hearing. And through hearing, we, we, we believe. Amen, praise God, because it's been told unto us. But as we study these scriptures, beloved brothers and sisters, and we're all learning together. Amen, praise God, because uh, like the scripture says, even when those preachers or those pastors and bishops or whatever, blah, 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 that are out there, beloved brothers and sisters, when they sit here and are speaking the word to you, it, it, it don't only apply to the ones that they're speaking to, but it applies to us as well. And many people are without understanding with that. That's why the scripture tells us, oh, you, oh, oh man, do you not teach yourself while you teach others? Yes, we do, because we know it's the Holy Spirit that is speaking through us for those that are out there, even for ourselves, because we're the ones that are out there too. Amen? We're, we're out there too. So, as we're still going through this time, we're going to be, we learn together, amen? Are we not one body? Are we not one, one congregation of Christ, amen? The stones that are going to be, that are precious in the sight of God, but uh, rejected by man, amen? Praise God. These are things that, that I said, because I know of people that God's not going to like. I mean, the, the, the people that are out there, from the priest and everything, that's why I try to sit here and find ways to, to, to bind up the Lord and do all kinds of things, amen, praise God, and, and try to find him to get tripped up in everything just so he can, they can sit here. That's the way the enemy is, but that's what works within those people, even in our own body, amen, praise God. And I'm talking about the body of Christ in this day and age because it groans against one another. What did Christ say in his you know, the whole body has been sick because there's a lot of selective selection, not full assurance of our faith that a lot of people are standing in spirits. Amen. Praise God. And um, we're going to be reading on, on and asking the Father 
to strengthen our faith and believe in the Lord as we praise it up to the Lord. It's, it's awesome to be able to be in the spirit all the time, beloved brothers and sisters, and walking in the freeness, freedom and the newness of life. We could care that we're, we're praising priests. We're glorifying God and honoring him for, for what he has done for us. Amen. Not what he can do for us because that ain't, if he, if he, even if he don't do it, guess what? We're thanking him. We do. Thank you, Lord, for not letting me go down that road because there was, you know, or thank you, Lord, for not opening that door because, you know what I mean? Because we are discerning. So let us pray. We're going to pray. We're going to worship the living God. We're going to pray for Israel always. We're going to pray for our, um, for the strength, for uh, faith to truly abound in our lives and in our walk. And we're going to be praying for Ukraine that, they'll, that, they'll, that the Lord will sit here and, and bring some kind of resolution over there. But we're going to let him do it, work it out along with his way. But we know that a lot of things are coming to pass. Amen. Praise God. In this day and age. And then we're going to praise the Lord. I like to praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hopefully it won't be cutting out, whatever, because sometimes whenever it picks up music that is from from other people, uh, it'll, it'll kind of stop my video. But we always put it back and, and keep going, amen, praise God. So if it does that, please, y'all just bear with it, and, and uh, we will see about what, what happens, amen. But in the, name of my, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, Joshua Messiah, who's blessed forever, may it all work out, amen, praise God, so we can have a good praise session and, and uplift the name above all names and pray and thank you for, for this day that he has given us. It's a promise, amen, and we're seeing you know, that he keeps us safe the night. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day that you have given us. You're glorious and you're loving, Holy Father. You're so faithful, merciful, and we thank you for your precious Holy Spirit that goes with us everywhere we go, Father God, and, and instructs us and, and warns us whenever things are happening, Lord, that, that we need to be protected because you're protecting us, Father God. It's your covering that's on, upon us. It's your blood, Master Christ, that's that's covering us in the, in our, in the post of our forehead that, that you that you have sealed us with, Father God, and and your anointing, Father God, that, that causes us to keep the enemy at bay and always keep perfect peace to, around us so we can do your work, Holy Father. By faith and believe, I know that you are sitting here working in things out and that you are waking up these stones of yours, Father God, and that you are you are purging us and you're perfecting us, you're trying us, Holy Father. You are sitting here doing what you are saying in your book that you're going to do, warning us, Father God, and letting us know those that you are calling out of the darkness into the marvelous light for us to put off all falsehood, to put off all darkness and all our deeds of darkness and bring it to the light so that way you can help us deal with all of it. If any of my brothers and my sisters are struggling with that this day, Father God, I uplift them into your hands, Father God, so that way you can work it out for them. We need your strength, Father God. We are drawn from the rock that we are hewn from this evening, Father God. We are sitting here and, and coming to the fountain of living water, Father God, fall on us and wash us and cleanse us and purifies our hearts, our minds, the, our garments, master, if you will, make us clean, Holy Father. Cleanse us and purify us and 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 purges and, and do whatever it is that you need to do, Father God, for we're giving ourselves into the potter's hand always and continuously each day to search our hearts and search our minds, search our souls, Lord, the very depth of it to sit here and, and, and let us see and work out the things that we need bringing up to you, Father God, on bending knees, Lord. Even though we aren't worthy of asking anything of you, Father God, we're asking for your mercy to be upon our lives. We're asking for your forgiveness. We're asking for, you, for your guidance. We're asking for your light, Lord. We're asking for your truth, Father God. We're asking for, for you to strengthen our faith and believe in you, Lord. By faith and believe in you, Lord, I know that you are working. We pray for Israel, Father God, that you sit here and work out whatever it is that you need to work out there, Lord, and uh, get them ready too, Father God. Manifest yourself there. Father God, we uplift Ukraine this evening too, Father God. You see the things that are happening there, Father God, and, and, um, and what can be resolved, Lord, when we all truthfully pray to you and cry out to you, Father God, in faith and believe in our hearts. There's nothing impossible for you, Holy Father. We pray for our families that are out there, Father God, and our friends. I pray for the preservation that I'm on always, is that you start binding the work of the enemy, not only here, but from one end of the world to the other, Father God, from these addictions and these strongholds that, that, that 
Many people are still living and not believing and walking in true faith, Father God, defiling their garments, defiling their, their temples, and thinking it, it, it's okay with you, Father God, when we know that it is not, Father God. Help us, lead us, and guide us in the way that we should go, for there's not nothing impossible for you. You are the King of all kings and the Lord of lords, the King of majesty. By faith and believe in you, Lord, I know that you are worthy. As this session goes on, Holy Spirit, have your way. Enlighten us and fill us, Father God. In my master Christ, you show him as you, Jesus, my name we pray. Amen. So let us pray. I, I was going to pray this, pray this one yesterday, but you know, it's, a, it's whatever the Holy Spirit calls for and says, but I'm always praising God. This is, this is awesome. It's called let the peace of God reign. Praise the Lord. Father of life, draw me closer. Lord, my heart is stayed on you. Let me run the race of time with your life in full mind and let the peace of God let it reign. Oh, Holy Spirit, Lord, my comfort, strengthen me, hold my head up. And I stand upon your truth, bringing glory unto you, and let the peace of God, let it reign. Oh, Lord, I hunger for more of you. Rise up within me, let me know your truth. Oh, Holy Spirit, set your in my soul, and let the life of God fill us now. Let your healing power bring life and make me whole, and let the peace of God let it reign. Oh, Holy Spirit, Lord, my comfort, strengthen me, hold my head high, and I stand upon your truth, bringing glory unto you, and let the peace of God, let it reign. Oh, Lord, I hunger for more of you. Rise up within me, let me know your truth. Oh, Holy Spirit, saturate my soul, and let the life of God fill me. Let your healing power free life and make me whole. And let the peace of God let it reign. Oh, Lord, I hunger for more of you. Rise up within me, let us know your truth. Oh, Holy Spirit, that you raise my soul, and let the life of God be filled Let your healing power bring life and make us whole, and let the peace of God let it reign. Let your healing power may bring life.
God and Maker, oh Holy Father, and let the love, peace of God, let it rain. And let the love of God be now. Let your healing power bring life and make us whole. And let the peace of God let it rain. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Number seven. Lord, you said in your word when those soldiers in the army was coming that you turned them around, Father God. We're after you turn anything that's coming against us and them around, Father God. We're praying, God, come and turn this thing around. God, turn it around. God, turn it around. God, turn it around. I'm calling on the name that changes everything. God, turn it around. God, turn it around. God, turn it around. All of my hope is in the name. The name of Jesus. Breakthrough will come. Come in the name. The name of God. You I'm praying God come. And turn this thing around. God turn it around. God turn it around. God turn it around. I'm calling on the name. That changes everything. God turn it around. God turn it around. God turn it around. Cause all of our hope is in the name, the name of Jesus. Breakthrough will come. Come in the name, the name of Jesus. God turn it around, God turn it around, God turn it around, God turn it around, God turn it around. He's doing something, he's doing something, God is doing something right now.
Holy Father, we're asking you to intervene, Holy Father. We need that intervention, Lord. Upon all the people that have asked you to pray, Father God, for them, we know that you, Lord, you're the God of the impossible, and that you can make all things happen, Holy Father, because that is the truth that we are standing on. Oh God, I'm new skin, but I'm so filled with fear. I've had my share of doubt, but I'm never more than right now. I'm wondering where you are, and I've been praying your love heart. So now your promise is going to This is the truth I'm standing on. In the way the strength is gone. You are faithful forever. I know you'll never let me fall. And now I'm choosing to release. Someday soon, I'll look back and see, Father God, our pain had a purpose. Father God, we know that everything that we're going through is for your purpose, for your glory. Even when life's not good, Holy Father, I will not lose this hope and faith in you, Lord. Singing, but you know what? We all have, we're all members of one body, amen. But together, it's for the glory of God that we sit here and we gather, amen. The gathering of the saints, the gathering of the call, the gathering of the elect, the gathering of the waking up stones that is out there, amen. Praise God. And full faith and true and believing, beloved brothers and sisters. And I can't do nothing but uh, God, because this is, this is the way I am from the moment to nighttime, amen. Feel with the courage that the Lord and the strength that he gives unto us. Amen. Praise God. Not half stepping, but fully believing in my faith and believing 
As we're going to sit here and get on the service, amen, praise God, and sit here. Because, you know, as we sit here, we're going, and they're not going to understand. And I know that people don't understand. So, so they try to tell me, well, you know, that's not possible. Well, they're not, why are you professing that their God is the God of the impossible? My God is the God of the impossible. Amen. And by faith and believe that he walked this earth to show me how to walk. Amen. The God God says you and show you how to walk in the way of righteousness. Let your yes be yes, your no be no. To uh, part ways with people that are not good for you. Not healthy, because there are some toxic people out there, beloved brothers and sisters. And they when they when they come to you, you know, you have to be that shiny light. Amen, or whatever, they, they get upset, even the, the believers, so a lot of believers are going to get upset because they can't put down doing things that are unjust and unrighteous, amen, praise God, but we know, we hold our great God Almighty and Him who sits here and gave His life a ransom for us, beloved brothers and sisters, amen, we hold Him in high standards and in reverence, amen, praise God, and we don't want to do nothing to sit here and jeopardize or hurt Him. Even more, his Holy Spirit, amen, praise God, that dwells within us, because that's what he's here. When you are truly filled with the Holy Spirit, beloved brothers and sisters, and if you have a, an ear to hear, please hear what I'm saying. It will hurt your heart. You will cry because you know, I know I do. Whenever, even now, this brother told me, well, you know what, I don't have the brother that I'm uh, blessed to fellowship with. Well, he goes, it's kind of hard for me to cry. It ain't hard for me to cry because I know I ain't going to be crying before the throne. And then I'm re rejoicing when I'm going to be fearful because you know what? Uh, to think that we that we'll hear those dreadful words, depart from me, you worker of iniquity who practice lawlessness. But you got to practice that as well. As we're going to practice our walk with Christ, amen, and put it into practice, our faith that we are speaking because the word of truth tells us, amen, praise God for all of you saints that have an ear to hear. In Romans, and many people, let me finish saying this. A lot of people's spirits, and all of you brothers and sisters, all of you that are chosen by God, and y'all know who I'm talking to, amen, they're not going to sit here and understand your faith and uh, how you can be so joyous and be free, and you don't have no desire to sit around people that are gossiping or, or people that are, are doing things that are unjust or unrighteous, because you, you can, you'll be like, and y'all get a thrill about that? Amen, praise God. You're going to be the one that, be, that they're going to all, don't, don't go there because you know what? He, he, it's better for me. Amen. God, clear the clutter and, and letting the truth be told and seen before your eyes. Amen, praise God. Because as we read, you know, when we sit here and, and God calls us, and he calls everybody. It's just some people choose to want to accept the Lord in selective ways, and we can't do that. You're either going to be real about the Lord, you're going to be real about uh, the Creator, you're going to be real about the great I Am, you're going to be real about uh, your love for the Lord and respect for Him. Amen, praise God, or you're going to be real fake, one of the two, but you're going to be real or real fake. You know, in, 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 in between lines, beloved brothers and sisters, and all of you saints that have an ear to hear, you're either going to be right or you're going to be all wrong. Amen, praise God, because God knows and they don't understand you when you when you're sitting there and, and they're doing and they're just going on like it's a natural thing amen and um but we know that it's not a natural thing amen praise god for we have our eyes open and we have our ears open and all that slandering and that perverse talking and the court gesturing and all that I call them silly spirits because you know we're spirits underneath the tonic of skin, right? So and I've gotten a few people that first time when I'm saying that, they're like looking at me like it shocked them because a lot of people are without understanding that we're spirits in this tonic of skin. Amen. Praise God. And uh we're gonna that we're all we put in and out. And if we're spot and blemish this, you know, just like it looks white. You'll be able to see the spots and blemishes on us. That's why he tells us to make sure that you are spot free, staying free. And the only way you can do that is you separate yourself. Amen. From that. And, and they're not going to see you. They're going to talk about you. They're going to, who cares? You let them keep talking because we, we're going to keep rejoicing in the Lord. Amen. By faith and belief. 
Romans 10, and God gives us the measure of faith according to his will too. And y'all know this, amen, praise God. So Romans 10, we're going to start with that and then we're going to read some Hebrews 11, okay? Because um, many people, beloved, it's just many people. You know, they even in the ones that you're going to church with that are having, oh, I'm having a part time doing this. Well, where do you believe that you're standing in the strength of God? We sit in this church, but are we believing it? Are you being allowed yourself to be a stone, amen, that's going to be But they have not obeyed the gospel for Israel, say, uh, Isaiah said. Lord, who has believed the report? So their faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, indeed. Their sound has gone, their sound has gone out on all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. But I say, did Israel not know? First, Moses says, I will provoke you to jealousy by those who are not a nation. I will move you to anger by a foolish nation. But Isaiah is very bold in saying, I was found by those who did not seek me. I was made manifest to those who did not ask for me. But to Israel, he says, all day long I have stretched out my hand to a disobedient and contrary people. And please, beloved brothers and sisters and all you saints that have an ear to hear, remember that when we are getting privileged to be grafted into the vine, we become Israel. Amen. We, we become the children of, of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hebrews 4, 2. I want to read this because, you know, we're talking about uh, faith. And we, everybody gets a measure of faith. Amen. Praise God. And he tells us this. But this one, in the translation that I was reading, it says, for we also receive the good news. You know, here on on Hebrew 4, 2, I sit here and I read my Bible all day long, even when I'm, when I'm at work, amen, or when I get a privilege too, I sit here and, and uh, work, and then I sit here, and, but I read my Bible to everybody. It says, for we also received the good news just as they did. But the message they heard was of no value to them, of no effect. Since they did not share the faith of those who, who comprehended it. Amen. Praise God. Those who heard it. For, for we who have believed do enter that rest and the rest, but that little scripture right there, the rest, the um, they did not share the faith of those who heard it, they were not being mixed with the faith, amen. Praise God! So, we have to make sure that we're in the faith, and that's what we're sitting here talking about this evening, amen, about your faith. How strong is your faith in the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters? Are you truly believing that you can be delivered, that you can be set free, that you can be restored, that you can be healed? Because in Matthew 8, 13, beloved brothers and sisters, Matthew 9, 29 says, then he touched their eyes, and this is the, the people that were blind, the eyes and said, according to your faith, will it be done to you? According to your faith, Will it be done unto you? Amen. Praise God. Matthew 8, 13 says, Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go as you have believed, so will it be done for you. Amen. Praise God. And, and his servant was healed at that very time. The sister that had that, uh, that issue of bleeding in Matthew 9, 22, Take courage, daughter. He said, Your faith has healed you. And the woman was cured from that very hour. Matthew 9, 28 says, 
After Jesus had entered their house, the blind man came to him. Do you, and, and Christ said, do you believe that I'm able to do this? Amen. How many of you honestly believe that God can sit here and deliver you, and God can sit here and renew you, and God can sit here and set you free? My master Christ can set you free. My master Christ can break those chains that bind you. My master Christ can sit here and remove them strongholds and the bondages that are holding a whole lot of people down. Even my own people are still without understanding. Oh, that's good that you've been here. I said, you know what? God came and found me. Amen. Praise God. God chooses. And that's so that way we can be example for the rest of the people. Amen. From our family to every nation, every tribe, and every tongue, as he has appointed us a measure of faith, as he tells us in Romans 12, 3. Amen. Praise God for all of these spirits that have an ear to hear. And I know my family still too, my birth family, and, and uh, they're all probably without understanding of this man. I'm so changed because I met the Lord. I have faith and believe that he called my name. Mercy called me. Amen. Praise God. He called my name and gave me an opportunity to be set free, spirits. Amen. Praise God. And to be, to go show myself. And yet to show myself and, and to show the change that comes from within. Amen. Praise God to sit and be walking free. No more drinking. No more wanting to sit here. I have no desire to sit here and defile what God has made clean and and purged and, and set free. Amen. Praise God. And a lot of people are without understanding with Galatians 4 9. It's because many people are still stuck in the beggarly elements and they don't want to make that change because they're afraid. Many people are afraid, saints. They're afraid to be reviled by their family. They're afraid to sit here and be looked different by people. They're afraid that they're going to continue because God tells you and prepares you in this gospel on how you can sit here and do it. And, and you're always going to be in the presence of the Almighty. So we're not ever alone. But Hebrews 11 tells us, beloved brothers and sisters, and all of you spirits that have an ear to hear. And that's a privilege too. Amen. Because a lot of people ain't going to hear. Hebrews 11 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. For by, by it, the elders obtain a good testimony. By faith, we understand that the world were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Amen. So you made them out of nothing. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testified of his gift, and through it he, being dead, still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death, and was not found because God has taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he that he pleased God. Amen. Praise God. You know, in a place and in a time and in a, in, a, in, in an age, beloved brothers and sisters, where many people are, would rather please people than to please God. Amen. Praise God. But these people, by faith, were able to obtain, as it's given unto everybody, even myself. By faith, what does the Bible tell us? If we have faith, what did my master Christ say? You can tell the faith of a mustard seed. You can tell that mountain to move and it's going to get gone. Amen. You can knock on the door and it's going to be answered. By faith. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. By faith, Noah being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear. How many of us do that? Amen. When God is warning us, move with godly fear, preparing an ark for the saving of his household by which he commended 
condemned the world and become, became heirs of the righteousness which is according to faith. Amen. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. By faith, he dwelt in the land just like me. Whenever God called me, I'd start to do my own sight. I had to do work for him. I don't know where I was going to end up. And I'm well over here freezing, <laughs> freezing, being a, a frozen popsicle stick. I'm going to be a frozen sink. Amen. Praise God. But by faith and believe, I know that he's going to take care of me. And he's working it all out because you know what? Yeah, I, I, I've got to give it, uh, at the end, I'll give a little bit of a testimony of how good God is. Amen. Praise God. And that everything that you are doing, spirits, when you are out there in the field, wherever you are at, and you're speaking the word of God, it's going to do what it has accomplished and what, what God will set it out to do. Now, you may not see the results right there and then, but if you let God do his work and you continue on yours by faith and believe, guess what? You're going to see a result. God is going to show you this. I'm going to show you this. By faith and believe that everything that we did here, we do, beloved brothers and sisters, for the glory of God and in the name of Christ, Yeshua, Yeshua, Jesus, who said forever, guess what? You're going to get a result. Now, I'm going to show you something in a minute. By faith. I'm talking about faith. Amen. Praise God. Hebrews 11, continuing on. By faith, he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which he had, which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Amen. Praise God. By faith, Sarah herself has received strength to conceive seed. As she bore a child when she was past the age because she judged him faithful who has promised. Amen. And God has promised us, right? So we got to we gotta sit here and do our work. We got to do what God calls us to do to obtain that promise. Amen. Praise God. Therefore, for one man and him as, therefore, for one man and him as good as dead, were born as many as the stars of the sky in multitude, innumerable as the sands which is by the seashore. <clears throat> Hebrews eleven thirteen says, These all died in faith and not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off, were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on this earth because that's what we are, amen, praise God. We don't make our home here. So we know that our home is in heaven. Where's your citizenship, child? Is your citizenship here or is it in the heavens with the Father, amen, praise God. Are you worried about your early possessions here? Because the word of truth tells you, spirits, if you are worried about your worldly possessions here, then your reward has been given to you. We know that our riches are our, our in heaven, amen, waiting for us, amen, by faith, by faith, amen. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. Praise you, Jesus. You just know how to work it all out, amen. And truly, if they have called to mind that country from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better that is a heavenly country. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for us. Amen. Are you on board? Are you getting on the, on the boat? Amen. Are you going to be left behind? By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promise offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, Is Isaac your seed, shall he shall be called. In Isaac your seed shall be called. Concluding that God was able to raise him up, even more the dead, for which he also received him in a figurative sense. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob was, when he was dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph and worshipped 
learning, leaning on the top of his staff, by faith Joseph, when he was dying, made mention of, of the departure of the children of Israel and gave instructions concerning his bones. By faith Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by his parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were not they were not afraid of the king's command. By faith, Moses, when he had became an, of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin. Amen. Praise God. As many people have been saying, a saint still do anyway without understanding them of the full scripture. Uh, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasure in Egypt, for he looked to the reward. Amen. Praise God. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him, as seeing him who is invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and sprinkling of the blood, lest he who destroyed the firstborn should touch him. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, whereas the Egyptians attempted to do so and were drowned. Amen. By faith the walls of Jericho fell after they were encircled for seven days. By faith the harlot Rahab did not uh, perish with those who, who did not believe when she had received the spice with peace. And what more shall I say for the time would fail me to tell of uh, Gideon and Barak and Samson and Je Jephthah also of Daniel, David, and Samuel, and the prophet. prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms. Are y'all hearing it? Subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fires, escaped the edge of the sword, walked out of weakness, were made strong, became valiant in battle turned to flight the armies of aliens women received their dead raised to life again others were tortured not accepting deliverance not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection as many of you saints and spirits that have an ear to hear please hear what the spirit is reading out of the holy scriptures this passage women received their dead raised to life again other were tortured, not accepting deliverances. Amen. Praise God. As many people are still bound in their chains and their shackles and and their devices and their strongholds, and they're going to perish. Amen. Praise God that they might be because they don't want to obtain a better resurrection. Still, others had trial of mockings and scourges. Yes and of change and imprisonments. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskin and goatskin, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains, dens and caves of the earth, and they, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not Receive the promise, God having provided something better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. Amen. Praise God. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, all the angels and saints in the sky, I praise you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. I feel it in my, in my pit of my stomach. Ooh, praise you, Jesus. Praise you. Praise you. Glory to you, Lord. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by a so great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight every weight and sin and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us 
looking unto Christ Yeshua and Messiah Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Praise God. For consider him who endures such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your soul. And it happens to all of us, beloved brothers and sisters. Amen. Praise God. But God reassures us the promises that he made. Amen. Praise God. The cliche, man. Ooh, praise you, Jesus. Yet have not yet resisted to bloodshed striving against sin. And you have forgotten the exhortation, but that speaks to you as two sons. My sons do not, and daughters, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by him. And God does that, and people are without understanding the judgment and the corrections of our God. When he's trying to take things from us, we're trying to find ways to keep on to all this plate of misery, dysfunction, and discord, not willing to let go and have a greater resurrection, amen, being tortured and not accepting deliverances, amen, praise God. Now, Kushay, may we praise you, Jesus, yes, Lord. For whom the Lord loves, he chastens and scorns is every son whom he receives. Whom he receives, amen, praise God. That doesn't mean that everybody, whom he does, selection. Call, elect, sanctified, justified, amen, redeemed, delivered, bought, ransomed, purchased, amen, rebuilt, remolded, restructured, renewed, amen, from the mind, from the inside out, amen, praise God, people are without understanding, meaning from the darkness to the marvelous light of the Lord, amen, praise God, people are still without understanding of that, amen, but if they open up their minds to understand the truth and they stubborn, rebellious hearts, as a lot of us have that hardness in our hearts to not want to receive what God has got for you, what God's not going to strive with you, let you continue on being that way, beloved brothers and sisters. Stubborn, knucklehead that we want to, amen, stiff neck, the jig necks, amen, that got the, yeah, well, go ahead and be that, be that all you want to, but I'm going to be standing free in the spirit of the living God. Praise the Lord, glory to God, awesome, awesome is his name, wonderful, amen. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as with sons and daughters. But what son is there whom a father does not chasten? You know that? Yeah, that. Spank yourself, huh? Our mom, get on out of here. What did I tell you? God's like, get out of here, get out of here. Amen, praise God. I mean, if your mom and your dad didn't do that. Yeah, I told you to get out of here. Amen. Hey, hey, we crying all over. But God says, we're, we're mine. Amen. But if we are without chastening of which all have become partakers, then you are illegitimate children. Amen. And not sons. Furthermore, we have had human fathers who corrected us and we paid them respect. Shall we not much more readily be in subjection to the Father of spirits and live? Amen. Praise God. For they indeed for a few days chasten us and seem as seem best for them. But he for our profit, that we may be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening seems to be joyful. For the present, but painful. Nevertheless, afterward it yields a peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Amen, praise God. And that's all of you, saints and spirits of heaven, which is for Therefore, strengthen the hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight the path for your, for your, make, make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be dislocated, but rather be healed. Pursue peace with all people when we can. When we can. God says when we can. 
But as we sit here, we're talking about faith, my brothers and sisters. Faith in the Lord who brings healing, he brings restoration, he moves mountains, he entraps the enemy in his own snares. Amen, praise God. He liberates, he sets captives free. Did you know that? Did you know your great God Almighty sets captives free? Did you know your great God Almighty can sit here and truly heal you just by faith like he did? Um, that that sister with the infirmity in Matthew 9, 22. Amen. Take courage, daughter. Your faith will make you heal. Amen. Many people of this day and age, saints, they're without understanding of a whole lot of scriptures. And the people that are out there that are still struggling, and if that is you this day, put your faith in the Lord, truthfully. Don't walk selectively. The people that are out there, even the ones that are having struggle, tell them, well, you know what, where does your heart lay? Where is your faith? In what man is telling you or what God has spoken into your heart? Amen. Praise God when you let the walls of Jericho fall. Amen. So as we sit here, we go through this day, beloved brothers and sisters. You know what? God has given us all a measure of faith according to his purpose and according to his will. To strengthen each other, to be that instrument that he needs us to be out there in the highways and byways and do everything and not worry about the world falling apart because we know it's going to fall apart, but we're going to stay focused so we can finish the race with endurance like just, we just read. Amen. Praise God. I know that he is there with us by faith and belief. Faith is a substance that we don't see, but we believe. Amen. Praise God. So as we sit here, and I just have to say that because you know what? I have a lot of people, brothers and sisters, that are struggling and, and um, that I meet, run across. And the Lord, and I, this is a little bit of a testimony of myself. I was one one person that was, you know, God gets to, God chooses the worst sinners. God didn't call, God didn't get, get those qualified to qualify to call saints and all of these spirits that have entered here. So if you're feeling the call of God and that you can do it, it's because God has prepared you for every good work and for every good word. Amen. And he's going to instill it and implant it in your heart so that you can speak it to whoever he puts it before the way he needs it to be said. Amen. And don't sit here and twist it and change it or try to butter it up because sometimes that... <clears throat> thundering of the voice of the Lord to tell people <coughs> it's something. Amen. But the Lord, this is I'll tell you, by faith and belief that I heard my master call me out of the darkness. I heard my name out of mid-air. People think that God they don't know the God that can part the waters, that move the mountains, that can make it rain, that can sit here and send out lightning and storm and fire from the sky that can do whatever, make a donkey talk and freak out a prophet, amen, or do whatever he's got to do. Call my name. And when I heard it, I was like, Lord, I was scared. No more drinking, no more smoking, no more cussing, no perverse, no desire. All I had the desire to in my soul and my spirit was to get to know God. Amen. And yes, it happened in three days. Amen. He put me in a little shack in Houston, Texas. And I, I used to do drugs. I used to drink from morning to nighttime. I used to be perverse and live sexually more. I used to do, shoot dope and, and all of that. And God did it. Found, found mercy on me. He looked down from the heavens and seen. And had mercy on me to set me free. Strongholds of my mind, remove the shackles in my chain, bondages of this world, the strongholds, all the ill will, all the evil that I had in my heart, all the hurt that I had to sit here and deal with, and God dealt with it. And he set me free. There was no yesterday because I know that it was gone. All I knew is that I was different. I was changed. 
and I could see. I had no desire to sit here and be around and listen to this worldly circular music because I could hear all the perversity, all the temptation, everything that is put in subliminally and without knowing in that music to want to cause the flesh to uh, want to do these things. I had no desire to smoke anymore. Just my heart and my soul was set on knowing the Lord. By faith and all I could feel or in, in my mind was give me a, a chance. You've given all this other stuff. This whole time I as I can read it to you. Give me a chance. So I was like, okay, I thought I was crazy, okay, all right. I'll give you a chance. Ask me what I would hurt. This is what I, I could honestly, I couldn't hear an audio voice, but it's, it was in my mind because the Holy Spirit is within us, right? So in my mind, I could hear, ask me, what, what do you want? I'm like, I'm, then I really think I'm going crazy. My well, Lord, you know, uh, 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 I want this, something simple, you know. I want some fruit. Guess what? I'm just I'm standing before the Lord as I'm speaking this. An hour later, I'm reading my Bible, and here comes somebody around the corner with some little cups of fruit to give me. In Houston, Texas, when I was sitting down, I spill over backwards. So I started believing. And when I'm drawing away upon it, he asked me, if you think that, that this is not real, ask me for something. And I would ask this man, this unseen God, and spirits, and guess what? He would make it happen. Faith. So by faith, I knew. Uh, ain't no more chance. Ain't, ain't no more. Hang, ain't, ain't no more nothing. Nothing. And when the enemy came against me, God would intervene for me. Everything that the enemy had has meant for me as evil, has been turned out for good for the glory of God because that is an opportunity for us to witness. As the word of truth tells us in Luke, that would be an, an opportunity for you to, for your testimony of the Lord unto the hearers that are out there, no matter who is from, before the magistrates, before the police, before the priests, before the preachers, before the lost, before the saved, before the ones that are under the law, before everybody that has an ear to hear. Faith. And since then, I've been walking by it. Amen. But knowing too, internally, not to take the grace of God in vain, not to use him. He's not a he's not a genie in a bottle that you can call on him. Amen. Praise God. Though a lot of people do, and and when they don't get it, they all upset the Lord. Well, stop listening to the false prophets. I mean, anybody that knows how to read this Bible that the prophets of the Lord were not too much like, and they didn't come telling you you were going to get a big business and that you were going to get all these riches and that you were going to, but they never came there to come repenting and telling you, healing you and, and bringing what God needed to be bringing to you. And it ain't got nothing to do with new cars and big houses and all that mess. Mm -mm. How about an opportunity? It's even better. Amen. So by faith, my brothers and sisters, and don't think that nobody in this world, I mean, and all of you saints that have an ear to hear, please hear me. A lot of people tell me that I used to be a, a drug addict. I believed. I believed. So the world labeled me a drug addict, a failure. But God saw me and he, I'm not a failure. Amen. And he used the weak to lead the strong. The race did not give me to the swift, amen, or the strength to, to none, of, none of all that. 
and, and I have faith and believe in that. And guess what I'm walking in? No shackles, no chain, no bondages, no desire to do anything but to praise the great I am, the God of Israel, the God of the rock, the God of our Savior, the Christ. Amen. Praise God. It's a living witness from death to life in Christ. Hebrews 9, we read that. Amen. So I keep the testimony and I don't take it great from them. So don't either. But let your faith arise in the Lord this day, beloved brothers and sisters, and all you spirits that have it in here. Because all things are possible and you are an overcomer. Amen. Praise God. You are not bound. You can be bound if you want to. But my master Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, who lived forever, died to heal you and make you free. To renew you, to strengthen you, to set you on a firm foundation that many people think their arms when it sh starts shaking, they fall to the ground. We're still standing. Amen. Praise God. We are the light of this world, salt of this earth. Amen. Praise God. Gain your place, spirits. Find your place in the Lord. Believe and have faith. Amen. Praise God. So let us sit here and um, pray this out. And uh, I pray that you guys renew yourselves in the Lord. Amen. And truly believe what was spoken to you. Amen. Praise God. So let us praise. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day, Father God, that you bless us with you to glorify you and to honor you, Father God, with all that we are, for we are of you, Lord. We've taken on the image of your Son, Father God, blessed by you to be able to be given to be brought to you, Father God. We're coming to the throne, Holy Father, and asking you to sit here and do your work, do your will, whatever it is, Father God. We're having faith and believe in you this day that you are restored. You are the Almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, Holy Father. And above you, there is no other. You are a restorer, Holy Father. You are a healer. You are a redeemer. You are the rock that we are hewn from, Holy Father, in the strength and the fountain of living water that will not be dried, Father God. We're in from everlasting to everlasting, just like you are, Father God. By faith and believe in you, Lord of hosts, I know that you are in the midst and you are in control holy father let your will be done on whatever it is prepare people father god prepare your people strengthen their faith in you father god what they ask this night father god what they ask this night father god in the mighty name of my master christ as you are monsieur jesus father god that you will give it unto them according to your will let it be done holy father unto my brothers and my sisters bring healing father god bring restoration bring peace Wherever it is that, Father God, that you need it, Father God, for there's nothing impossible for you. By faith and believing you, Lord, I know that you are working. Look, shame, We wait for you. We wait for you. We wait for you. Takushibeu. To walk in the room. We wait for you. As we wait on you, Lord Father God, strengthen us. We wait for you. Kabaushela. We wait for you. To walk in the room. Praise you, glorious Father. King of kings, Lord of lords. We call it on your name this evening, Father God, and for the rest of our days. Holy Spirit, rain down, Father God. Let your mercy fall on us. Let your forgiveness, Father God, your grace, Father. Abba, Father, Jehovah, Yahshua, great I am. Lord of hosts is your name. We wait on you, Lord. Ah. We wait on you. We 
we wait for you. We wait for you. To walk in the room. Here we are, standing in your presence. Here we are, standing in your presence. Should kind of glory come down. Holy Spirit, come down. Here we are, standing in your presence. Here we are. Standing in your presence, your kind of glory comes down. Release the fullness of your spirit, your kind of glory comes. Oh, Holy Spirit, come. Release the fullness of your spirit. Your kind of glory come, oh Holy Spirit come. We want you move, and we want more. And you speak, and we want more. And you move, and we want more, more of your goodness. You move, and we want more. And you speak, and we want more. And we want more, more of your fullness. Release the fullness of your spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, come. Your kind of glory, come. Release the fullness of your spirit. Your kind of glory come, so Holy Spirit come. Can't get enough, can't get enough, can't get enough of your presence, presence, can't get enough of your presence. Can't get enough of your presence, presence. Can't get enough, can't get enough. And we want more, and you speak, and we want more. And we want more, more of your fullness. You stop fullness of your feelings. King of glory, King of spirit. We want more, we want more, we want more. More of your spirit. The Lord has given us freedom, given us freedom, given us joy. The Lord has given us freedom, given us freedom. Giving us joy, Holy Fire. The Lord has given us freedom, given us freedom, given us joy. Giving us joy. Thank you so much, Holy Father, for your freedom. That is found within you. But my brothers and sisters, faith. Strengthen your faith in the Lord and believe. If you can deliver a wretched wretch like me, guess what he can do for you? Amen. For you've got to move the mountain, make paths straight, open your eyes, open the eyes of the blind, heal anything that you have. He's a restorer. He's a great I am. The creator, the potter, and we are the clay saints. Amen. Praise God. So he can do it the way he wants to. Amen. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful evening. Amen. Praise God. All things are possible.
through the Christ that strengthens us. Amen. Praise God. Let him fill you with his life, his contentment, his true joy. Open up your heart to receive it by faith. Amen. Praise God. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful evening.